Recently, this patient came into my office with this. All right, so let's go back over this again. So you were wearing what kind of boots now? Um, they're, they're not duck boots, but they're similar to duck boots. Uh -huh. But when I used to carry carry the boots, um, snow carry mail, mm -hmm. I wore thick socks. But I had these thin, um, thin um, compression socks on. Okay. And I guess the boot was rubbing and rubbing, and I was just working and working and working. Okay. And when I got finished with the work, I had a cut here. There was cuts in the back where you know the boot rubbed on the back. And this was a week ago. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what you have here is what we call cellulitis, which is infection of the skin. All right, so we're going to treat that with antibiotics and get this to clear up. And I'm going to see you back in a week okay. and make sure everything goes okay. All right? Okay. Sounds great. You, you're on time. Man. We have bacteria that live on our skin as part of our everyday existence. That bacteria is called normal flora and it's of various species. It's different from the normal flora in our mouths, and it's different from the normal flora in our intestinal tract. We are not sterile beings. However, sometimes things can happen in our skin that will allow this bacteria to set up an infection. I'm talking about cuts, scrapes, burns, abrasions, insect bites, anything that can penetrate that outer layer of skin, which is our protective layer. Infection can ensue where we can get cases like this gentleman got right here. Now, cellulitis can appear in several different ways. It could be a small round spot or it could be a large area like in our patient here. In Caucasians, the color can be light red or dull red to a bright red. In people of color, it can be light brown to dark brown. The port of entry can sometimes be obvious, like in our patient here, where he has small areas of skin breakdown due to his boots. Or sometimes the portal of entry may not be obvious and we can't see it and we have no idea of where the cellulitis came from. What is also noticeable on the patient here is that the skin is shiny and weepy. Weepy meaning there are little droplets of fluid on the surface that have emanated through the skin. But cellulitis can also appear dry. And in this case, no, there was no odor. It did not stink. However, in situations like this, where there is a bad odor coming from it, that can indicate a deeper space infection. And that is a medical emergency. Since his legs were weepy, I wrapped them in gauze and told him to change the dressings every day. I gave him a prescription for oral antibiotics to be taken every day for a week. And here is our friend two weeks later after taking that one week of antibiotics. The weepiness is gone, the small wounds have closed up, and the color is coming back to normal, and the cellulitis has resolved. Some folks may experience itching or irritation with cellulitis, but this patient had none of that, and he had no pain. And no, he did not have diabetes. So if you see some skin changes that last more than a few days from a little injury you may have gotten to your skin, or if you just look down and see there's something there on your skin you have no idea where it came from, go see a medical professional. Do not take this into your own hands. Don't go get that antibiotic that's been in your medicine cabinet for the past two years, or don't go get some cream you can't pronounce, or don't go put something on your skin that your grandmother told you to rub on there. Go see the professionals. It could be a skin infection, a cellulitis. You want to get that taken care of correctly and promptly. If you have any questions or any comments about this subject, leave them in the comment section. I'd be glad to hear from you. But most importantly, take care of your feet.